So today I'm going to show how to do a uh, ball tracker in uh, Simple CV. Um, as you can see here, it's done with about um, less than 15 lines of code. Um, here it is running right now on screen. You can see it there. Um, you know, only tracks that, not just just the ball. There is a uh, square, so it's not tracking that. Um, it's fairly fast frame rate. I'm just walk you through it really quick and how it works, um, and then you can uh, download Simple CV for free. It's cross-platform at uh, simplecv.org um, for every operating system: Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, I'm on Ubuntu today, Ubuntu Linux, which is also free, and open source software as well as Simple CV. Um, we'll go back to the example here. So this is the minimized version. I'm going to show you the version we have here, um, the full example. Uh, what I'm going to do is stop that one. And what I'm doing is starting it in my code editor here. So press F5, it should start, and walk you through the code really quick. Um, what's different in this example code is we have our display window here. I wanted to show you how I segment the blob. Um, so I wanted to detect a baseball. I just have a uh, smoke detector that I tore off my wall really quick because I didn't have a baseball around the house. But uh, you could play with the parameters and um, detect different type of objects, different colors, different shapes. I'll walk you through really quick on how this works. Um, when I right click, you can see that uh, how I'm segmenting the, uh, the actual shape here. Um, right click again, it gets me back to my normal mode. Um, so what I do here is I import Simple CV. Um, I create a display object, which you are seeing here, this big window. Um, I initialize the camera. I set my display mode to a normal display mode, which you're seeing here. Um, I keep it in a loop while not done. Um, I detect if there's any right clicks. Um, if the right click happens, we switch the mode. So it's just a uh, Boolean here, uh, just pretty much binary, flips from one mode or to the other, which is, you're seeing it printed out here, segmented mode. And basically, let me get this window back up so you can see what's going on. Right click again, it's flipping. Um, I'm doing the flip horizontal, so when I move left, it's basically mirroring what's going on on my screen. That way it's not uh, mirrored. Um, then I run a color distance, and what this does is push all the colors away from a specific color. So I want the white color here. I'm saying give me the furthest distance colors away from black. Um, you can do some more. If you're looking for specific colors, we also have image.hue distance. Um, and I recommend maybe looking a little bit, if you're unfamiliar with that, into RGB is one color space. That's the one I'm working in now. Um, there's a bunch, it's the additive model, and then we have a HSV, which is another um, color space, and uh, basically this lets you kind of handle uh, shading and that sort of thing in different lighting conditions. You're going to deal with color variability, so white is pretty easy to detect. Um, you're probably going to want to use HSV if you're dealing with other colors, because you'll be able to adjust kind of your saturation and values based on, you know, like more of a gradient versus a uh, an additive model where you have to try to figure out, you know, the three values. You can probably just adjust one to get what you need for a specific color. This is just white. This is a very simple example. Um, so we get that color distance image. And uh, in fact, I'm going to comment it out really quick. And I will just show you what that looks like. Stop my program, restart. That's my color distance image. I look a little overweight here. That's because I'm doing a dilate. Um, let me take that off and show you without it. Stop, start. So now you're seeing the white is really accented. All the blacks get really kind of pushed back to black. Um, so I'm going to undo that. Undo, undo. And then I'll show you the uh, the segmented image. What that does is a stretch filter. Basically, it takes anything below 200 um, in the RGB space or in the grayscale image, and then 255, and basically pushes any pixels below 
200 down to uh, zero. Um, and that is, I'll stop restart. So that's the segmented image. That's right here what you're getting. Um, what that is doing is basically um, basically just uh, segmenting out that anything below it's pushing it down. And then we run a blob detect on that. Um, if it finds blobs, then in those blobs we're going to find circles. But I will we'll show you what happens if I take out the circles <clears throat> and just show you the blobs. So if we find any blobs, just draw them. And, uh, oh, of course, it's not working, sorry. But let me undo this. Um, so what's happening is we're filtering those blobs and searching for if the blob is a circle, we give it a threshold value. You can play around with that for, be, for every blob that it finds. So basically it tries to filter out of the blobs, um, which could be any type of shape. We just want to find circles of those shapes. And then if it finds a circle, we just draw the biggest one. Um, you could iterate through the list of circles as well. If you have multiple balls you wanted to track, I just have the one. Then down here, we just decide if we want to display the uh, normal image or the segmented image based on the, uh, the mode. So this is normal mode, otherwise showing the segmented image. Um, it's basically a quick run through on how to do a basic ball track um, or shape tracking. You could easily, we have a few different parameters like is square, um, that sort of thing. So you could easily build on simple CV and add your own type of function check to our blobs. Um, it's very easy, easy to extend. Um, yeah, so basically it's just an extension of this. Uh, hopefully this gives a quick rundown on how easy Simple CV is to write, um, how quickly you could change the parameters from square, circle, start playing with the different colors, that sort of thing. And uh, just get up and running pretty quick here. Um, hopefully this helps.